This is the video for you if you're a guy who's going through a breakup right now and you feel like it's your fault. Maybe it's in your own behaviour, in your own actions and you feel like that's why the relationship ended the way it did. And maybe you feel like you want her back and you miss her. Well this is a video for you, so stick around because I need that watch time. Um, so where do I begin? I've been through a, a breakup myself. And I know what you're going through, I know what it's like, I know what it's like to still have those feelings, to still want to, you know, to still want to try again. You know, after the breakup it's tough, especially if it's recent. But what you've got to realise, guys, is that the more you stick around, the less she's going to want you in her life. Because she's decided that she doesn't want you. And all you're doing by sticking around, even if you're just friends, even if there's no nothing going on anymore... You're pushing her away by doing that because you, you're applying pressure. Like, she, you got to understand she doesn't want this no more. But the more you try and beg, the more you try and plead, even if you just stay friends and you don't talk about getting back together, your presence is repelling her. When she broke up with you, for her, that was a huge, like, release of guilt and shame for sticking around in a, in a relationship that she didn't want to be in. And what she wants at this moment is freedom. And you're not giving her that freedom. You're not giving her that peace. And the point is, guys, it's best to just walk away. Once the relationship's damaged, once it's, you know, once you've had that, like, gone through all that pain, all that suffering, even if you try, even if you get back together, even if you, you know, you, you might get a best um, a friends of benefits relationship out of it. Or you might even get back together. You might try again. But I'm telling you guys, if the relationship's damaged, if the trust is gone, it's never going to work again. And I, I, I know I know what it's like, guys. You know, you, you probably still have feelings for her. And those feelings are not just going to go away overnight. It's going to take months, it's going to take years. But trust me when I say this, that things are not going to get better. The relationship cannot be fixed. It is damaged. And it's something that you just got to accept. And if you hold on to this, you hold on to this pain, you hold on to the, the, the feelings you have for her because you think, well, you know, if I keep trying, if I keep doing this, if I keep doing that, we're going to get back together. You might get back together. But as I've said, there is no point holding on to a broken relationship. And the best thing to do in this situation is just move on. Accept it. Accept that it's over. And move on. Maybe take some time yourself. Do the self-improvement stuff, you know, Do build a better life for yourself. You know, at least, at the very least, you're going to have things in your life that are going to keep you busy. You know, you, they're going to gonna keep you going. They're going to give you a sense of purpose, a sense of, like, you know, belonging, a sense of peace, a sense of order and structure to your life. And once you have that, it makes it so much easier to move on and meet somebody else. Because... That's the best option you have to move on and, and, and find someone else. I mean, you don't have to do that, but you're never gonna you're never gonna have what you had with her. You're only gonna be able to have that again with somebody else, somebody where the trust hasn't been broken, where it's new, where it's fresh, where it's undamaged. And that's where you should be focusing your efforts now. Focus your efforts into self improvement. Start working out. Start, you know, letting go of the past. If you've got any, if you've got any bitterness, any anger towards, you know, that that the person that you used to be with, or any any bitterness in general, just let it go, right? And tr start trying to be more positive. Start trying to, you know, not hold that anger because all that does it eats away at you. And eventually, you will get to a point where you're at a level of peace. And you'd no longer feel like you need to have that in your life anymore. And once you're at that peace stage, once you're like content in who you are, you're content in your life, that's when you'll start attracting better people in your life. And you will you will have a better relationship. You will have something that's just as good or if not better than what you had with the girl before. So the main thing to take away from this, guys, is to stop trying and just move forward. Because it does get better and I promise you it does. You've just got to stick this one through and just focus on building a better life for yourself. So I hope you enjoyed this video, guys.
that's all I'm going to say about that. Bye.